Hi, Poppin. Yo, what's up, everybody? Cardboard Moses, which you welcome. Uh, here to do. I thought I had to yawn, but I didn't. 2019 Legacy Football, four box break number two. You know what I mean? You know when you have to like yawn, but you're not quite sure, so you kind of like just pause, and then it kind of just goes away on its own. No, anyways, whatever. Let's go ahead and get this popping. I added two more cases of this stuff uh, to our website. Uh, we do have full case breaks of this stuff on our site. Check it out. I got legacy number seven and number eight full case breaks. So if you would like to uh, get into a full caser, check out our website, ripcitycars.com. New customers save $15 off their first purchase. We usually carry uh, new products and full case breaks on our site with promos and giveaways from time to time. Uh, so make sure to check that out, eBay peeps. All right, let's get this stuff going. Oh, damn, Brad, what's, what's wrong, Brad? You're uh, all by your lonesome at the, at the crib? All right, Steve, good luck to you. Let's see what we get. Working from home all weekend. That's not bad. You and Bo, what's up, Bo? Dude, did you watch AEW last night by any chance, Brad? I know you're a fellow wrestling fan. You didn't watch AEW? Well, it was a pay-per-view. It was a pay-per-view. I'm sure there's links on the on, on the old internets by now. But let me tell you, it was... Aside from this year's WrestleMania, this year's WrestleMania was absolutely great. But this, you know, last night's AEW pay-per-view blows anything WWE has done this year out of the water. Like, aside from WrestleMania, this one pay-per-view AEW did was way better than anything WWE has done recently. So, I think the WWE has some serious competition right now. What's up, Matt? It was a great pay-per-view last night. I would highly suggest uh, checking it out. We got Mr. Lynch for the Raiders to 100. Well, Jericho's in there. Um, there were, there's actually, there was a few, right, like old school wrestlers that came by, like Dustin Rhodes, Gold Dust, Cody Rhodes wrestles there now. I don't know if you've ever seen uh, New Japan wrestling, but uh, Kenny Omega's there now. Uh, Dean Ambrose, who left the WWE, just signed with AEW, but he has like a different name now. I think, it, I think he. I think his name is John Moxley or something like that. Uh, but you know, basically the same character that he, that he was before the, you know the, uh, he was like the crazy person or whatever. Ozzy Newsome, the thirty-five Browns. Who else? A bit badass Billy Gunn was in the Royal Rumble there. Check this out, Nick Bosa, autograph mojo, very nice. Who else was in it that you would know? 
Well, the Young Bucks from New Japan Wrestling, they're in it too. The Lucha Brothers from Lucha, uh, Lucha Underground. That match was crazy. Dude, I'm telling you, Brad, you know, if you want to see some real badass wrestling, check it out, man. It's called uh, Double or Nothing. Travis Kelsey Chiefs to 35. I know for a fact, Brad, that you will enjoy it. As a, as a wrestling fan, it's going to take you back to the good old days. You know, Tommy Dreamer was there from ECW. And, you know, he, he was hitting people in the head with chair shots. You don't see that in WWE no more. People were bleeding from the face. It was it was awesome. Dak Prescott Cowboys 35. People were cursing. Oh, it was great. Pyrotechnics. It was great. It was awesome. And they have a women's division too. I, dude, honestly, I can't say enough good things. It was great event. And I, I also hear that they're gonna that they signed a uh like, they have, like, a TV deal, I think, with TNT. And they're going to start doing, like, a weekly show at some point. So it should should be, uh, as you say, interesting. I think this might have been the bronze hot box. See a couple bronze parallels. And here's a bronze auto. Yep. Jordan Thomas, Texans bronze auto, which is to 35. Preston Williams to 100. That kid might be a steal for the Dolphins. You know, the more and more I do like research on Josh Rosen, you know, I'm I'm hopeful that uh, he could be our franchise quarterback. But I I have my doubts, of course, as a Dolphin fan. Anything that can go wrong will go wrong. Kind of deal. You mean like the video game Mario or or the uh, Pokemon Breaks Mario? You know, part of the Ripping Wax fam. Okay, well, I mean, I mean that's 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 normal. I would say, Brad. My dude, I have a seven-year-old cousin. She's like seven or eight. You know, she's like in the first, second grade. All she does is watch Spanish soap operas on, on Netflix. She has no business watching that. And you know, she and she does. What's up, Jeremy? Happy Sunday. So, you know, I, I would much rather my child watch something child-related, you know, like video games and whatnot. But what you what are you doing watching soap operas? Spanish soap operas at that. And, you know, those go, like, up, you know, above and beyond the drama.
and now there's like this uh, you know I don't know if you've heard of this Brad but uh, there's like this you know there's like a YouTube video going around of like this challenge it's called the Momo challenge uh, have you heard of this Brad some some creepy looking it's it's supposed to scare kids and, and and whatnot and my little cousin showed me you know because I, I guess he was afraid then I was like what the hell we'll put it on because I'm I'm all about confronting your fears so like my me and my little cousins my you know I have one she's like a three year old another one that's seven the one that watches the novellas and then I have another one who's like ten eleven. Ed Reed 189, Ravens here. So when they had told me about the Momo challenge, they were like super scared. They're like, no, Jesse, please don't play it or whatever. So I was like, listen, it's time to confront your fears. And Uncle Jesse played that played those that Momo challenge. And then, you know, and like how I like to do, you know, I, I just started making fun of her. I was like, Y'all scared of this? I've seen crackheads uglier than that. If you think that's scary, let me take you over to 8th Street, show you the real Momo. And then they just start laughing, and then, you know, they overcame their fear via laughter. You know, good old Uncle Jesse. Kyle Long, to the name Bears. I mean, listen, dude, look, man, I grew up watching Freddy Krueger and freaking, you know... Tales from the Crypt. I grew up watching scary shit. So I'll be damned if my little cousins are afraid of some bitch named Momo. No, no. It ain't gonna happen around here no mo. We got Mac Wilson at 299 right here. Peter, my name is not Jason. I hope you know that, right? Yeah, I, I let it slide yesterday. But I'm not letting it slide right now. My name is Jesse, damn it. We got Hakeem Butler right here. That's his name. Because I read it. Baker Mayfield. 199 Browns. Oh, okay. There we oh, Okay, gotcha. I was like, Jason. Because there's a few people that call me Jason. And it's, uh... It grinds my gears. I'm not even going to lie to you. So I, I apologize for the snappy remark. But check out this Troy Aikman for the Cowboys. To 50. But, uh... Oh, dude, Jason from Friday... I mean, that wasn't really scary to me anyway. Because, you know, he always had, like, a hockey mask on. So, so you know, that was kind of like whatever. Leslie O'Neill Chargers. But it was pretty gory, you know, when he's freaking macheting people in half. You know, pretty gruesome stuff. But, you know, for some reason, I was always afraid of, like, Freddy Krueger... You know, for a while, I was afraid to go to sleep. You know, he used to scare the shit out of me. Uh, I don't know if you've ever seen the... Um, well, Tales from the Crypt used to always have, like, vampires and all types of scary stuff there. So, that would scare me. Michael Myers wasn't really scary, you know, because you know, his mask wasn't really scary. I actually thought the Halloween movies were kind of funny. A.J. Brown to 100. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. When I saw that movie, I honestly thought it was, like, real. Like, I saw the original one first. Not like the remake with Matthew McConaughey or the one with Jessica Biel. I've seen those two. They're solid movies. But, like, the original, original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the one that came out, like, in the 60s or 70s, that shit 
legit scary. Because I, I honestly thought it was like based on a true story or something. And it would not surprise me if it were based on a true story. DJ Moore, 6 of 10 Panthers. Pinhead from the uh, from the Hellraiser series. You know, those boys used to scare the crap out of me too. It, for the longest I had this irrational fear of clowns. Things to it. To this day, I still don't really fuck with clowns. You know, what? You know, from a distance, cool, whatever. But don't come close to me. I will punch you in the face. They don't really make scary movies anymore, man. I can't even tell you the last scary movie. I, last scary movie I, I saw was probably the fourth kind. Like now, like I'll watch a, a supposedly scary movie. Like the Insidious series. Like those movies are not scary at all to me. Like if anything, they're funny. Because I can see everything coming. I haven't seen The Nun yet, though. I don't think I want to, either. I, I don't think that, that would be scary to me. Steve, you thought those movies were scary? I mean, Carrie's one thing. Christine. I'm just going to go to the second floor of any building and boom, that solves that problem. Christine, null and void. Uh, or hit her with an EMP. Boom, done. Take the battery. Well, then again, it, it is a demon car. But yeah, I'll go to the second floor. Boom, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Uh, as far as the omen, oh, well, I can't do shit about Damien. That's the Antichrist right there. Apparently, there's like this... Uh, well, not apparently, but there is this new movie called... I forget the name of it, but it's supposed to be like a scary superhero movie or something. Like, what would happen if Superman were evil? Brightburn, I think is what it's called. Matt Breda, 299ers. Yeah, Omen had really good music. Christine, I never understood, man. Like, it's, it's a demonic car. Dude, just go to the second floor. Yeah, it was that easy. Done. Movie over. I never thought The Shining was scary. More creepy than anything. Bryce Love, 299. Get some water. <coughs> Got AJ Green for the Bengals here. Which is to 50. 50 out of 50. A little eBay 101 right there. I like watching scary movies. I'm a weirdo. Oh, dude. Sound in scary movies is like, it's everything. 
You know, it, it's quiet as hell, then all of a sudden, boom! Scary monster in your face and the music to, to go with it. Nick Chubb to 100 Browns. Like Jaws. Jaws would but not be nearly as awesome as it was as it is if it weren't for the amazing theme song or you know score or whatever. Debo Samuel with the autograph. Mike Myers too. No, that's Jason. My bad. That's Jason. Michael Myers had that do 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 like that that piano or whatever. Matter of fact, they have the remake on HBO. I might have to watch that. I haven't seen the, the, the latest iteration of Halloween. Deontay Thompson, what are you doing? Yeah, Bart Scott Ravens autograph. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of remakes either. Like you would think that Hollywood would come up with like some new movies. Like I got ideas for days. Yeah, somebody get me in contact with a with a Hollywood producer, and I'll, I'll hit you with at least a trilogy of new movies. Terry Kill to 50 Chiefs. I will say, you know, I think they should do a few movies would be cool to be remade, though. Like, I think they should remake Scarface for one. That would be kind of cool. You know, and not have it be three hours long. That would be awesome. We got Barry Sanders to 50 Lions. And last box, Mojo. This is only a four box break, folks. But again, if you want to get into full case action, check out our website, ripcitycars.com. New customers save $15 off of their first purchase. I haven't seen an RPA yet. So how's everybody enjoying their weekend? Lovely Sunday. At least in Miami it is, you know. Nice sunny. Partly cloudy. It is hot as the Dickens, though. It's like 94 degrees out there. So God bless whoever invented the air conditioner. Wow, here's an RPA right here. Got that thickness there. All right, baby. Last box mojo. Good luck, everyone. Let's see what I can get here for you.
We got Derrick Henry to 100 Titans. Nah, Steve, I, you know, I'm, I plan on staying here uh, for the night. I don't have any plans. So, you know, hopefully get some breaks done tonight. I'll put some uh, fillers together, throw some discounts in. Hopefully that'll be enough to get the, uh, the squeaky wheel greased and rolling, you feel me? Just as hill to 165. We got a few breaks uh, close to filling, so I hope y'all are in a breaking mood. All right, here's the RPA. Terry McLaurin with the two-color patch autograph, Mojo. I haven't had alcohol in a while. Then again, I'm trying not to uh, spend money. I uh, I would like to move out by the end of the year. I've been having talks uh, with one of my buddies, and uh, he you know he's a veteran, served in the military, and he's still active, I believe. But. Um, you know, being in the military, there are certain programs where, uh, you know, they, they help you with housing and stuff like that. So he's looking to buy a house and, you know, doesn't have to worry about putting a down payment or anything like that. So looking for a house to move into probably by the beginning of next year before March. So that's 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 my uh, short term goal. Will Greer, 199 here. It's, it's time to move move out of the pigeon coop and fly. Uncle Jesse got to fly. We got Adam Humphreys here for the Titans to 50. Nah, Steve, if anything, I gained weight. I'm at 320, bruh. But, you know, I have not exercised. I have not changed my diet. I'm a real piece of shit. Jonathan Abram, 299. I need a kick in the ass. AJ Green to 50 Bengals. Yeah, I'm a con consistent piece of shit, rah, rah. No bueno, but I mean, at least I'm aware of it, I guess. That that that's, doesn't necessarily make things better. <laughs> DeAndre Baker with the autograph. Boom. We got Darius Slay, 165 Lions. And let's see what else is here. That's going to do it for the break. Boom. So let's see what we got. All right, well, there's a DJ Moore, 6 of 10 Panthers. Not autographed, but decent. We got DeAndre Baker. Let's see what team he goes to. That's a giant. Terry McLaurin. That is a Redskin. Bart Scott, Ravens. Debo Samuel. See where he goes. 
Debo is a 49er. Leslie O'Neill Chargers. Hakeem Butler. Hakeem is a Cardinal. Jordan Thomas to 35 Texans. And Nick Bosa for the Niners. And that was the break. Thank you very much. We will get it out.